I got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is civil. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. This is all I've got, okay? You travel light. I don't believe you. That's everything. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. Do you know who I am? Yeah, I know who you are. You saw my car, out front then. You see anything else you want in there? Not a whole lot left. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. Do for the you taking? Do you know what you took from me? Don't you start on who took what from who. I didn't take her from you. I rescued her from you. Don't you get that? <sighs> Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. You fucked up. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them. A day later, in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? Yes. If you think that now, you just wait. I'm not like you. You let that little girl get fed disgusting human meat. It's more complicated than that. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. She deserved it. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. That's not the whole story. The whole story? How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. You came here for Clementine. And I don't even know why. 
After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Look, I was bitten. You were what? Yeah. I probably don't have a whole lot of time. Wow. Okay, then. No. You're not taking her. Lee. I said no. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <coughs> Come back. It's okay, sweet pea. We're leaving. Good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. You look horrible. That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Clementine, we don't have much time. Okay. I'm sorry, Lee. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay, sweetie. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. I'm sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah.
Yeah. I know it. Must have. You're covered in all that gross stuff. I had to get through a bunch of them to get here. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. soon as we can. Not soon enough. Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. There. That should do it. I hope so. You're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm-hmm. I'll keep you safe. <laughs> 